engines are roaring and it's a brilliant start from it looks like Timmy Hansen a little bump there Timmy Hansen takes top spot away from Christopherson Timmy Hansen said he needed a little more and he finds it in quality four Timmy Hansen raises his game when he most needs it and that is a brilliant piece of work I think now finally we've got the speed uh, Q4 was a big step for us, so I've been struggling a bit uh, in, in the first three qualities, but now we did a big dip, uh, change to the car and it was super nice. So uh, I, I want to win today. Uh, I'm going to do everything that I can. And it's a great start from Timmy Hansen. He draws alongside Christofferson, but Christofferson dives onto the inside. Timmy Hansen's closed massively onto the back of Christofferson. He was pulling out a good margin. But is Christofferson being cunning? Is he saving tyres too? The Audi's moving around all over the place. I think Christofferson does have an issue, Nick, but I can't see what it is on the screen at the moment. Timmy Hansen's going for the inside line. Timmy Hansen has got the better of Christofferson. Timmy Hansen! Has he done enough? It's all come back into Timmy Hansen's hands. He's got to hold on here, Christofferson. Hansen leads, shine a second. Here comes Jabbering, trying to steal it. Christofferson uses all of his skills. Timmy Hansen, he said he wanted to win this weekend, didn't he? But he didn't expect Christofferson to have that kind of problem. In Rallycross, you've always got to be ready to pounce. Hansen, Hansen, Jarbo, Scheider, watch the green light, away they go! And it is Hansen, one and two, look at them working as a team, shadowing each other, going side by side, through corner one and through corner two. Kenneth Hansen now, the spotter for the Hansen team, will call the two boys in. It's a sixth and final lap, they've got to go into the Joker, they've extended their lead by as much as they possibly can to give them plenty of time to make a clean entry and exit of the Joker lap. Watch both the Peugeots now swing right into that Joker lap, little jump into the chicane, no choice either for the third place Gronholm. Can Kevin Abering steal third position and his second podium of the championship? No question, the Hansons are in control here. And Gronholm's out in third, Abering does have a problem in the background, but up front, Timmy Hansen takes his second win in a row. What an amazing performance from the Swede. For three races in a row, Kenneth Hansen and his boys have done the one-two. What a team performance from Hansen World RX. First of all, what an amazing season we're having and another one, two for us is just magic. And But this race, I think from my perspective, it's 100% a team job today. The engineers worked so hard to get us back on the pace. Uh, Kevin's been super fast and was such a teammate in, in the first two corners there. Uh, we had our plan and we stuck to it. And uh, starts have been amazing. And again, my mechanics, or our mechanics, they've kept you know the car in one piece and we come to the finish line. So, uh, yeah, today was, was definitely 100% a team win, and I'm so grateful to these guys. The champagne celebrations begin. The Hansen team roll on to round four of the FIA World Rallycross Championships for 2021. But Loyak in France belongs to the Swedish brothers, Timmy and Kevin Hansen.